Welcome back to Folger Channel, where we bring you the latest in global events and geopolitical developments. In today's episode, we have a riveting story that involves the U.S. and Philippine Navy uncovering Chinese warships' suspicious activities in the South China Sea. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on critical international events. As tensions rise in the South China Sea, the U.S. and Philippine Navy have made a significant move, exposing Chinese warships eavesdropping in the region. This revelation comes at a crucial time, shaping the geopolitical landscape and raising questions about security in one of the world's most contested waters. The Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group and Philippine Navy concluded joint drills in the South China Sea on Thursday being under observation by a People's Liberation Army Navy frigate, which claimed, despite being in the despite being within the Philippine exclusive economic zone, that it was conducting lawful activities in its own territorial sea. Meanwhile, North Korea has resumed artillery firing drills in a previously demilitarized maritime buffer zone prompting Seoul to respond with firing drills by Republic of Korea Marine Corps units and evacuating two islands near the North Korean firing zone. The drills, known as Maritime Cooperative Activity, began on Wednesday and saw the CSG, consisting of Carrier U.S. Carl Vinson with embarked Carrier Air Wing 2, Cruiser U.S. Princeton and Destroyers U.S. Kidd, and U.S. Sterrett, carrying out joint activities and sailing with Philippine Navy offshore patrol vessels BRP Gregorio del Pilar and BRP Ramon Alcaraz and landing platform dock BRP Davao del Sur. The Philippine Navy A109 helicopter also conducted a deck landing on Carl Vinson. Planned ships were in the vicinity observing the drills with a frigate already in the designated exercise area when the Philippine ships arrived there near dawn on Wednesday according to the Philippines Daily Inquirer, which also reported that a PLAN destroyer also showed up following radio calls between Gregorio del Pilar and the PLAN frigate. During the calls, the Philippine Navy ship stated that the PLAN ship was sailing within the Philippine EEZ and asked what its intention were and received the response, Philippine warship 15, this is Chinese Navy warship 570 conducting lawful activities in our territorial seas, over, according to the Inquirer report. The PLN frigate reportedly did not respond to a subsequent radio call, and at 8 a.m., a PLN destroyer with hull number 174 appeared in the exercise area as well. China claims much of the South China Sea as its territorial waters. The hull numbers of the two PLAN ships corresponded to Luyang II class destroyer CNS Hefei and Junkai II class frigate CNS Huangshan. Both ships are part of the planned South Sea Fleet. In a social media post on Thursday, the armed forces of the Philippines released photos and videos of the MCA, which included two videos of Huangshan shadowing Philippine Navy ships on Wednesday. The People's Liberation Army Southern Theater Command under which the South Sea Fleet Falls, issued a release on Wednesday night, stating that naval and air forces were organized to conduct routine patrols in the South China Sea on Wednesday and Thursday. On Friday, the command issued a statement saying it organized a routine joint naval and air exercise in the South China Sea, but provided no further details. On Thursday, China Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Wang Wenbin criticized the U.S.-Philippine drill during his daily press conference. We would like to stress that the U.S. and the Philippines muscle flexing, provocative military activities in the South China Sea are not conducive to managing the situation on the sea and handling maritime disputes. We urge relevant countries to stop the irresponsible moves and respect regional countries' effort to uphold peace and stability in the South China Sea," said Wang. The Carl Vinson CSG is now docked in Manila on a scheduled port visit, having arrived there on Friday, according to a Navy release. Meanwhile, North Korea conducted a firing drill on Friday morning, firing close to 200 shells into the waters off its west coast. South Korea claimed the shells landed in the northern side of the sea border in the Yellow Sea but within a maritime buffer zone, 
agreed to by the two Koreas under the 2018 Comprehensive Military Agreement. That agreement, however, was scrapped by North Korea in November last year following Seoul's decision to suspend a part of the agreement after North Korea's November 21 satellite launch. The firing prompted South Korea to issue an emergency evacuation order for civilians on the South Korean western border islands of Yanpyeong and Bangyeon. At 3 p.m. that day, ROK Marine Corps units stationed on both islands carried out live firing into the nearby waters with their tanks and self-propelled artillery in response. In an English-language statement carried by state media Korean Central News Agency, the North Korean military claimed 13 companies and a platoon force of the Southwestern Coastal Defense under the 4th Corps of the Korean People's Army staged a naval live shell firing drill from 9 a.m to 11 a.m. on Friday. It was carried out with 47 artillery pieces firing a total of 192 shells. The claim of the military gangsters of the Republic of Korea that the KPA fired naval artillery shells into the waters north of Pekryong Island and Yonfyeong Island, a so-called buffer zone in the West Sea of Korea, is a far-fetched assertion to mislead the public opinion, and their evacuation and firing in return are also a trite method to throw the responsibility for the escalating tension on the TPA's drill," said the statement. The South Korean military on Friday had issued a release stating that since December 29 the ROK Army and U.S. Army conducted combined firing drills in Pachin Tsai, jiang Edu province, which lies close to the border. The TPA warned that if its enemies commit an act that may be regarded as a provocation under the pretext of counteraction, the KKA will respond with tough counteraction on an unprecedented level. Reports indicate that the U.S. and Philippine Navy collaborated on a surveillance mission, uncovering Chinese warships engaged in covered activities. This discovery has sparked concerns globally, with leaders and analysts weighing in on the implications for regional stability. Experts suggest that this revelation could have far-reaching consequences, not only affecting diplomatic relations, but also influencing the strategic positioning of naval forces in the South China Sea. As we conclude this eye-opening report, the situation in the South China Sea continues to evolve. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below.